prostate cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in men today. Approximately one out of every six men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. However, most men won't die of their prostate cancer. Of all those men diagnosed with prostate cancer, which men really have a dangerous form of that cancer that really requires a more aggressive treatment and which men perhaps uh, can be observed with their cancer uh, because they have a much uh, slower growing form which isn't likely to affect their longevity. The PSA test was never meant to be diagnostic for prostate cancer. It's simply a barometer, an indicator that there is some disorder in the prostate. At the end of the day, our problem with prostate cancer has been, in many cases, the treatment has been worse than the disease. It's very clear that not all men who need treatment need our most aggressive forms of therapy. That's really the, 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 the crux of the decision for most men. If that decision is based on inaccurate diagnostics, then it's really a flip of a coin as to whether a man really can safely be watched or whether he needs treatment. We now know that with proper technique, an MRI examination is able to see the prostate in three dimensions and it's able to characterize the, the prostate tumor and give us information such as the size, the location, and the degree of abnormality on different what we call functional uh, tests. Uh, there's a device that's referred to as the Artemis device. With the fusion technologies such as Artemis, today I have the tools to take a very high definition, high resolution MRI picture and digitally marry that picture on top of a three-dimensional ultrasound picture and then navigate a biopsy sampling exactly to the area of greatest abnormality so that we get information about understanding how much cancer is there, how aggressive is the cancer, and very importantly, where is the cancer in the prostate? because if there is a cancer that we can show is truly regionalized to one area of the prostate, and we know that because of our advanced diagnostics, there's technologies today we can use just to treat that one region of the prostate. If we can target the region of the prostate, we can destroy that region of dangerous tumor, uh, and that really results in very, very low risk of side effects.